Good morning, church. Um, my name is Heather Norgren, and I am doing today's Take 5. Um, I am reading through the Bible. I am reading through the Bible with a girlfriend of mine, and I am on Deuteronomy right now. And I something stood out to me this week as I was listening to... Deuteronomy 6.23. This stood out to me. It had spotlights on it when I read it this, this week. And it says, He brought us out from there in order to bring us in. And this stood out to me. And so this week I've been praying on it, asking the Lord, this seems so relevant to everything that you do in our lives still today. And so I started processing it and kind of reflecting on the original story of being brought the Israelites being brought out of Egypt and into the promised land but as most of you know this was not a simple process what could have been a few week journey ended up being 40 years and I think we've all kind of had our wilderness journeys that feel like it's taken us a lot longer than it should have but this verse really stood out to me and so as I was asking the Lord um, what he wanted to really show me this week and maybe share with you um, was Okay, what did he bring them out of? And he brought the Israelites out of slavery. He brought them out of idol worship. He brought them out of this scarcity mindset. He brought them out of having no land, no freedom. And what did he bring them into? Well, first of all, he brought them into the wilderness. He didn't bring them right into the promised land right away, which is, I think, a lot of the parts where we would like to skip to right away is the promised land. But first they had to go through the wilderness. And later on in that chapter, actually the next chapter of chapter 8, he says why. And he says, Moses is saying, um, and the Lord is talking, saying, you shall remember all the ways which the Lord your God has led you into the wilderness these 40 years that he might humble you test you and know what was in your heart he humbled you and let you be hungry and fed you with manna which you didn't know nor did your fathers know that he might make you understand that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by everything that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Your, your clothing didn't wear out, nor did your feet swell for 40 years. Thus, you are to know in your heart that the Lord your God was disciplining you in his ways to fear him. The Lord was bringing you into good land. And then later on it says, you know, you, you ate, you drank, and, and it wasn't in scarcity. And, and the thing that stood out to me was that the importance of remembering. This has been the repeated message that the Lord's been speaking to me and my family these, this last year specifically, the importance of remembering. Always remember. And when I was reflecting this, I was like, okay, Lord, why is it that you want us to remember? And the things that stood out to me was I think he wants us to remember not only so that we don't become prideful that this was somehow of our own doings of things that he's brought us through but also so that we wouldn't fear because I think fear and pride can sometimes be the biggest stumbling blocks of our journey that those are the things that get us stuck in the wilderness like the Israelites they complained they grumbled they feared how they would get water how they would eat that they wanted to go back to their old ways because of fear of not being provided for but yet God continually says remember everything I've done remember what I brought you out of and so as I reflected on this I wanted to ask what has the Lord brought you out of has he brought you out of grief have he brought has he brought you out of a unhealthy relationship has he brought you out of the comforts of this world? Maybe brought you out of self-hatred or self-reliance? And what, is, what has that journey of the wilderness been like for you? For us, it's been trying to figure out and realize that we are not our providers. God is our provider. He, everything that we receive is from him. What's the, what's the journey been like for you? What, has, what have you discovered that is in your heart? How have you been humbled? And what have you learned about God? I think so easily 
we forget that the things that he brings us through are not to punish us, but to simply remind us of who God is, that he's the sustainer, that he's the comforter, that he is enough, he is faithful, and that this entire process of our wilderness journeys, the Israelites' wilderness journeys, they're all to point to him to show us who he is and how trustworthy he is not to show us our flaws or our weaknesses or to to punish us but to truly know god more so my prayer for you today is to look back not only to humble yourself but to remind you that it is not of our own doing that it is the Lord alone that has brought us through our own wildernesses of whatever that journey has looked like for you and brought us into a deeper knowing of who he is and the revealing of our, our hearts and that the ultimate goal is for us to look more like Jesus. And so I pray that you um, receive more of who God is as you look back at your story to see who he's been for you and that you would have less fear, less pride, and that you would walk in this beautiful, abundant life that Jesus died for us to have. Have a wonderful day, church.